my coil broke on my detector and uh, so I got a new coil and we're going to add a little touch of red to it and put it in the body shop make it look really good to match up all the other red so stick around let me show you what I'm going to do well I just got back from my trip up to Wisconsin and uh, when I was at an 1895 house my coil as you saw in the video or will see in the video uh, completely snapped off I mean I wasn't really leaning on it or anything and uh, normally you know one ear will snap off but both ears just completely snapped off I'm actually gonna try to fix this and I ordered a new little attachment and I'm gonna put on the new one and uh, see what we can come up with and try to save this salvage this coil but anyway nonetheless it put me out of business for just a little bit and uh, so I just got my new one in the mail and uh, I like my detector it's right back here I've got the uh, the red flex on the uh, lower shaft and I've got the red right here and uh, so what I thought I would do is I'm going to take the coil cover off and I'm going to paint the edge of this red and uh, maybe the tops of these red and we're going to see what it's going to look like. On the coil cover, I'm not too concerned if I get stuff on the bottom or on the inside. This is non-metallic paint, so it's not going to affect the coil, I mean the coil in any way. And so we're just going to kind of... And uh, so now I'm going to try to tape this up because I don't want to get spray all over the place. So I'm going to tape up. I'm just going to paint the edge. And I think I'm going to paint these ridges. So I've got some painter's tape. I'm going to tape up the coil and uh, all of it except the parts that I want to paint red. So we're going to fast forward this. And so let's go. I just taped up everything that uh, I don't want to get wet. I got a little spot there I need to touch up. And uh, so it doesn't have to be precise because the coil cover is going to go on this as well. And so uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can come up with. Got one more little piece of tape to do right on that corner right there. And then we'll be done be ready to paint. So let's get to painting. All right, we're just going to let it dry now, and by the magic of video, we're going to show you the, the uh, end result. Well, just like that, we got it all painted. So let's get the uh, tape off of it, and let's see what it looks like. Got the edges painted, got the top. I just got to trim up some of this paint that's uh, sticking off of it. And uh, that looks good. And then we got the coil painted as well. So let's kind of get that coil put on there. The coil cover, that is. Whoops, wrong way. A little bit tighter fit with the paint on it. Check that out. Put a little now all we got to do is get it set up i ordered another thing i saw these online it's a 3d print and uh, they goes on here it goes on the outside if you can see that it goes on the outside just to give a little bit more extra brace and uh, it's got a spot right here and right back there that the it ties down with these twist tie. So let's put those on there. We'll go through here. And you clean that off. Now we got our extra bracing. We got it kind of two-toned there. Now let's get it on the shaft. Now another thing I did was I painted the new bolt that came with this. And so let's uh, see how all this is going to fit in together and get it lined up here there we 
we go. Check that out, folks. That's looking hot, isn't it? Looks like a hot rod now. Got a little. Now I'll get some pictures here, some close-ups, and let you see it. And we'll get it all open out and extended and see what it looks like fully extended. Now that I got this, I've got one more thing I'm going to put on here. It's a uh, snake skin. We'll put that on in just a second. But right now I want to take this broken coil. Both ears are, are broken off. I lost the ears. I was going to try to glue them back on there, but I lost them. But I bought this uh, 3D printed uh, little stabilizer. And so we're going to put this up on here and we're going to strap it on. Let's see which way we want to go with it. Goes through there. We're going to bring it around. And so we'll pull it up <clears throat> tight. And then we'll do the same thing on the on the back. <clears throat> we have it uh, going around. And this should hold it on here quite tightly. I want to pull it tight as I can. And that way is right in my way. And that way it's going to be just off of these twist ties hanging on there. And so this is going to be just my backup. In case I go over to England or to Latvia and I break this coil, I can have a backup coil now and, and it'll work. And I had some uh, little spacers and I just drilled them out <clears throat> to fit the size of this uh, bolt that's going to go through here and they're PVC so they're going to be able to slip through there all right and let's see how good this is going to work hopefully it's going to work good we'll just get it good and tight I can see the ears coming in, and there it is. It, uh, I don't know how good it's going to be out in the field. Uh, all it's going to be holding on is these ears right here. And uh, so, hey, it might get me through a bind if I ever out in the field and I break that coil. It kind of keeps me going, and uh, I'll always carry an extra detector anyway. And so, that is that. All right, let's go on out and let's put on our snake skin. All right, I bought this. I saw this online. I thought it was really cool. I've seen some people, uh, some people put it on their Equinox, but it's just called snake skin. And I bought it off of Amazon. And it's supposed to just go right over the uh, your coil cord. And uh, yeah, it's just going to fit right over that. So let's take this. And uh, let's see if we can get this on here. And it's just going to slip down. Just kind of just kind of bunch it up like that. And you got to just keep sli sliding down your cord. Just push it down, hold it, and it keeps pushing this way. Yeah, just like snake skin. This is uh, the red. It comes in several different colors. And uh, this is red and black. Kind of neat. I kind of like it. I saw this before, and I didn't think I like it. But now that I'm putting a lot of red and black on my detector, and just kind of souping it up a little bit, give a little design, uh, 
looks pretty good. So we'll go right there. And let's see if we can't get this pushed all the way down. Work a little bit more of the slack out of it. That's real simple. Real simple fix, wasn't it? And all we got to do now is wrap a cord around. Yeah. And there it is. That's how it fits on the back. Fits real good, and that's how it fits down on the coil. And so now, let me uh, get this all extended out, and we'll get some close-up pictures of it all, and show you all the customizations that I've done. All right, back in my treasure room. And I uh, wanted to show you all the customization, starting from the cuff all the way down to the coil that I have made. Uh, the first thing will be, I did buy power knocks when I was over in England. And this is just, just attaches to your one bolt right there. And uh, just clips onto your bar right there. It goes down and hooks into the back of your uh, of the magnetic uh, recharging thing. And the thing about this Knox that you can just charge this battery and it will charge your detector at the same time. When out in the field, if your battery goes down, just turn this on and it starts charging up that uh, battery in your Knox. Uh, the next thing I've done is that uh, Steve Blankenship with uh, Relic Elite Pouches, he sent me this uh, free. It's just a cover that he sent me. Just Velcros on the back and you can buy these online at a mega mill and they just protect your cover when you're uh, traveling another thing that I did I bought these uh, things when I was over in England as well and uh, they just go on I think it adds a good uh, new look to your Equinox really nice and uh, I have a cover protective cover here that goes on separately and I need to change that out the next thing that I did was I put on the snake skin check that out red and black snake skin I really like it it just kind of adds a little bit of color to the black shaft I did buy the detected uh, straight shaft carbon fiber and I bought I have the original uh, detected right there and I put my broken coil that I fixed up as a backup now with the new Knox uh, stabilizer thing on it and uh, so I put that in, but I bought the red flex. You can see that on here. And then here's what I did to my coil. I got a new coil and I painted it red on the edges and on top. I also put the knock stabilizer on the top of it right there to painted the bolt just to give it a little bit of extra uh, stability that hopefully my ears won't break again. That just strap ties to your knocks. None of this affects the uh, the uh, electromagnetic uh, field. And the snake skin just goes on there. And that is all the customizations that I have done to my Equinox 800. And so, hope you enjoyed the show. I know Duke did. He's over there just giving me the eye. So... Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.